Albert Grande here from pizzatherapy.com and my YouTube channel, Pizza Therapy. I'm talking with Michael Lamarca, who is the organizer of some of the pizza games here at Pizza Expo. Yes, we uh, we coordinate a lot of the, the culinary side of the competitions, the uh, Pizza Napolitana, Romana, and the hand pizza, as well as the other side uh, with our, our other, other half of the team, with Jeremy Galvin and, and the guys over there uh, do the traditional, non-traditional side. Michael, there's a lot of coordination that goes into this. When do you start getting ready for this? We probably start, Jeremy, Galvin, and, and myself, probably start about seven months, eight months prior to this. We coordinate demonstrators with their ingredients, coordinate with the purveyors here in Las Vegas, making sure we can source all those ingredients. And we sometimes have to find specialty ingredients, and we really have to look kind of deep where we can find them and uh, to make sure each uh, demonstrator has the exact ingredient and exactly how much they want and need. And then we coordinate uh, all the, the challenges the, like I said, the Napolitana divisions, the Pizza Romana, and the Pan style. So we make sure each competitor is ready to go. Uh, a lot of people travel here from all over parts of the world. So we, even though we're in our roster at number five, for example, we're, they slipped down to number 25 because their plane just landed, you know, earlier in the evening and they're not ready yet. So we, we coordinate anything and everything that happens now, seems like within this, this big venue. Okay. And what do you have to do ahead of time, like the day before the competition starts. I know you had a meeting with the competitors. Yeah, we, we, we meet with the competitors. We set up um, some of the new rules that might have happened this year. We make sure everyone's aware of them, make sure they're aware of the rules that we've had set standard with. Uh, we try to uh, coordinate uh, their schedules and times because sometimes they compete also the World Pizza Games uh, ahead of what the World Pizza Champion guys. So sometimes we got to coordinate with them times, like we did that say in the middle of our competition. Uh, it's just got it's being flexible and being ready to handle anything that comes at you. And there's a million things. For example, we're about to announce the scores, and our scoreboard is at the other side of the building. So we've got to take care of these little odds and ends things that happen that a lot of people don't see uh, that make a great event at the end of the day. What were some of the unusual pizzas that you saw competing? Uh, today we just did Napolitan division, so they all looked very similar it's a very tight division with not, not much disparity but tomorrow pan we're going to see a wide range of pizzas i've already seen some of the ingredients coming in so i'm pretty excited about tomorrow's pan division as well as the uh, uh romana division that is going to be super exciting to watch if you're a pizza fan or love pizza this is going to be a very it's our new category this year and we're super excited about it because it's going to be uh, a lot of amazing pizza makers pizza makers are coming in to do this one so we're super excited for this one that's fantastic. Um, tell me exactly, can you describe what is a Neapolitan pizza for those that don't know? Neapolitan pizza is made in, from Naples, Italy. It has a uh, certified tomato on it, as well as a certified olive oil and buffalo cheese, buffalo mozzarella. Uh, and it's baked in a high temperature oven, such as the ones behind me, to take about 45 to 90 seconds at most. And uh, they, I mean, they go in the oven raw and they come out piping hot beautifully cooked uh, it's just unbelievable how fast and quick they, they cook and it's, they're just a beautiful flavored beautiful looking pizza it's one of my one of my favorites it's just if you had one ever and especially the people that have been making them uh, here today if you ever had one of theirs it's a very easy to fall in love with that pizza and for the pan division what are some of the kinds of pizzas that will be coming out oh, of the oven tomorrow you're gonna see Detroit pan pizzas Chicago deep dish uh, we have um, uh, just around traditional pan pizzas. We have so many different types of grandma pie, a Sicilian pie. There's so many different pan pizzas. That's why it has its own category. And again, these pizzas are gonna be, every single one's gonna be different from beginning to end, which again is gonna be a lot of fun. Tough job for the judges, I guess. It, I think there's a lot of other jobs out there that are tougher than eating pizza all day and saying which one's better. But no, it is, in all honesty, it's a very, very hard job. These guys, our judges take it super serious. They're, they're very knowledgeable in each, not just pizza, but baking, and as well as um, the style of pizza they're judging. So it is something that you have to know. We just, uh, we really appreciate the hard work it takes to do. So uh, we can't thank those guys enough. And I think everyone appreciates what you do because you're the backstory of the pizza competition. Yes, I think, I think uh, we, we're greatly humbled in, in, to have this position. Uh, we're very, very, 
humble and honored to, to work and serve our industry and try to make it better every year. So uh, it's, it's a very honorable, uh, humbling again, just uh, think of the responsibilities we have to make sure our industry depends on us. So it's great, great, it's great, it's great to see everybody too. So it's like we describe it like Christmas in March. You know, our our year starts usually around Pizza Expo. We say, so uh, so for sure, it's a new great pizza time. year. It is. It's a new. It's a pizza calendar. Um, Michael, what do you do when you're not organizing the pizza competitions? I actually compete a lot uh, internationally. I go all over. Uh, I compete myself. Uh, last year, I think I competed about I think six times in in Europe, in China, uh, went to Italy twice, Sweden, we went to uh, London, Spain. So we had a great year last year competing. So what, you know, we know a lot of these people from all over the world because we see them throughout the world. And, and it's, you know, when I was a kid working behind the oven at my pizza place, you know, it, it's quite mind blowing to think that uh, one day I'd be knowing people from all over the world. I could, I land somewhere in Italy and I have a place to stay, <laughs> you know. And it's, it's, it's a, it's, it's wonderful. It's a wonderful community to be a part of. It's a wonderful world to be a part of with these guys. And you know, everyone in this, this industry shares the passion and has the passion, but shares it with each other, which is, it, I think, is very unique. Uh, a lot of us have ways of doing things and techniques of doing things and, and I don't want maybe secrets but none of us are are uh, you know we're excited to share those secrets with each other and uh, build the industry and lift the industry up so everyone is, is better when I competed I used to compete here, compete here every year and when we first started you would see a pepperoni sausage pizza or you'd see uh, some kind of like maybe mushroom pepperoni or mushroom sausage pizza now you see things that are I mean I, you don't you don't even know what you're gonna see here so I think as a whole as of the industry we've tried to outmatch each other and it just raises everybody's game up every year it certainly has tell me a little bit about your own uh, pizza shop and what you do sure. with them uh, I'm from Cleveland Ohio we have a restaurant called master pizza we just opened our 11th location uh, within the Cleveland area uh, we've been uh, serve a, a very traditional Cleveland style pizza if you will it's made in a pan round and has a uh, hundred percent provolone cheese and when I tell people that sometimes they look at me like I have two heads because we don't have any mozzarella on our cheese but it's always a hundred percent provolone we do um, toppings edge to edge and our, our dough is thicker than New York style but not as thick as a Chicago style perfectly right in the middle uh, it's a hearty tomato sauce and uh, sausage goes on it raw. We cook it like a bulk sausage. It goes on raw, all those flavors stay in the pizza. Perfect. And tell us about your website, your Facebook page. How can people contact, contact you? Contact us at masterpizza.com or on Twitter, Facebook, or Instagram, at Master Pizza. Michael, thank you so much for taking time to talk to me. And real quick, uh, thank you for what you do for, for our industry and having people get to know us and uh, getting our stories out there that's a big deal for for us and we can't thank you enough albert for for what you do and what you do for our industry thank you <laughs> thank you michael all the best take care you too thank you and you can find out more about michael pilamarca at masterpizza.com thank you so much michael all the best in all of your future endeavors and while you're here if you could show a little pizza love and subscribe, pizza on earth, goodwill to all.